The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside John Stones in the middle of the defence. Phil Foden plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And they kick off here. Stones. Foden. On to Mount. Well, tremendous block. Determined defending. And England pushing forward with options available. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Good pressure high up the pitch. Tremendous block. Well, of course, most Englishmen and English women don't remember the last time England appeared in a World Cup final. That was back in 1966 when they overcame West Germany at Wembley. They're here on merit, but how will they cope with the magnitude of the occasion? Will they be inhibited or inspired by the weight of expectation? Well, I think this all comes down to the manager making the right decisions. He didn't make the right decisions against Croatia when things started to go wrong in the second half. He probably didn't make the right decisions against Italy at the European Championships in the second half when things started to go Italy's way. He's got to make sure he gets the best out of all these players. And if he does that, England will be World Cup winners. Interception to snuff out the danger. 
Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. And the attack looks promising. Big chance! That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Mount. Benzema. Karim Benzema. What a shocking pass, really. Maguire Kane well let's see what they have in store for them on the break so it's going to be a goal kick here Judgment error by the keeper. Oh, he saved it well. And over it comes. Maguire Shaw No space for them here Mount Oh goodness me Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp Well that's not great is it There's been a real lack of quality in the game The passing's been too safe and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Now, who can he play it to? Sterling. You'll be hard-pressed to find a better save than that. Loris. Short corner taken. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Declan Rice. Walker now. Kane 
And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Kane. Rice with it. Promising move this from England. Kane. Determined defending. Oh, surely. The save was a good one. short corner here and there to intervene Maguire showing a lot of guile there and he takes on the shot and that was a very fine read he's in with a chance First of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So, action underway again, and the onus is certainly on England to find a reply now. Oh, super piece of play. Takes aim! Vital intervention. Substitution for and an opportunity for France, perhaps, to make it look even better. Who can they pick out? Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. And taking it away. Possession lost by England. He has teammates around him. Chances on. Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Well, he's tried to place it, but it's not a good effort at all, is it? Such a glorious opportunity as well. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Kane. 15 minutes left for play. Well, they know they need to stop him. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. Losing possession a bit easily. Good pressure high up the pitch. Giving it a try. And fired against the crossbar. Well, no damage done. Well, that would certainly have wrapped up the victory. They're not quite home and dry just yet. 
Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. And they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Harry Kane. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must. Given the circumstances, time running out. Really good interception. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Sterling. Kane. Must score! Chance maybe. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. The world champions! It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them. And now they get the ball rolling.